Hey everybody, Heather from Hooked on Picking here. I just got a palette yesterday and I'm going to investigate it. Now this is a new one for us. We bought Salvaged. We spent about uh, $507 on this whole thing because just to ship a palette it costs $200. Um, and so it's got 47 items in it, which is a little scary to me because that means each item cost me about $11. So I'm going to open this up, we're going to get into it, and we're going to kind of show you the condition of what salvage is. I've bought brand new, I've bought unexpected returns, and I've bought um, another kind, I can't remember. Scratch and dent. Scratched and dent. And I've had really, really good um, quality out of those. Um, and so let's see what we get out of the palette. And we'll see what's in here, and I'll show you everything that's in the palette. All right. Just taped on very easily. The lid comes off. I'm going to have to cut open the top. So as you can see, they package them really, really good, so stuff isn't going to come out or be jostled around too badly. Hope you can see pretty good in this video. Alright. Alright, let's get our first glimpse into what we got going on here. So there's our first thing. Alright. This palette is as big as me. Adjustable dog gate. This looks, it's it's called salvage. Um, it looks like it's in really good condition. So basically with salvage, I'm gonna have to go through, I may have to sell some things used or like new. This is an adjustable dog dog gate from a pet store. I'll have to make sure all the parts are there. Read the box. This one. Ooh. You might want to keep. Oh, my word, it's heavy. <laughs> okay. This is a pressure washer. It's a cold lens electric pressure washer. You can definitely tell by the box that it's been opened. Um, and you can hear some things rattling around. But as long as it has all the parts, I can sell it like new. All right, let's see what else we got. I can see why this is a, stuff is in a palette. It's so huge. Stainless. Something that's stainless. Class B. I'm not sure what it is. Let's see. There's only 47 items, so I'm going to just go ahead and open these and let you see what's in it since there's not very many. This is something with a power cord. Oh, it's a bread maker. It's a brand new bread maker. Still got all of its original packaging. I think the manual is in there too. So bread maker. Sherper image. Uh, juice blender combo. So definitely been opened. I'll have to inspect and see whether or not it's been used. Most of the original box, that's always a bonus. Pet fountain one of those big water jug containers that self-feeds whenever it's empty in the bowl. All right. Biodet simple stepping system. Um, pressure control. I'm not sure what this is for. Oh, water pressure. Oh, it attaches to your toilet. So we're still going through the returns or salvaged information. This is a plain box. Don't know what's in it. I have to knock things off my table. Well, this is definitely not brand new with newspaper. This is a blender. Looks like it comes with its own cups. It's a pretty fancy one. I obviously can't sell this one brand new. Uh, oh, it's a Nutri Ninja. So you, I see these in Walmart all the time. So that's actually a really good find. Um, I'd probably sell it on eBay. That way I don't have to worry about the condition. Let me walk around to this side. What do we got here? A Fitbit charge. I know I cannot sell Fitbit because it's restricted on Amazon, but I can sell them on eBay. So this looks like it's brand new in the box. Make sure it has all the parts because a lot of times the new ones need to have the charging cable, and that's usually the one thing that's missing. Um, What's in here? This is a shower head, a fancy shower head. 
with all the attachments. And so it's just in a plain brown box, which is why the manifest that they email to you is so important because it has this little tiny, I'm going to come close, this little LP op, OptiTurn LP barcode. And if you look up this number on the manifest, it'll give you the description and the UPC and the name of the item. So um, don't pull these off right away. Make sure you look it up and can find it online before you pull those off. Um, a suave, smoother, make radiant skin barcode. All right, let's see what else is in here. I've sold these Tulip Mist Ultrasonic Oil Diffuser. This is noisy right here. Oh, this goes to my doggy fence. Just definitely make sure I have all the parts of that. I need longer arms. Oh. I just open it like that. All right. The pea pod. It's a little zipper panel. Um, it's basically a pop-up tent um, for easy access. So I'm not sure exactly. Yes, yeah, a pop-up tent that you can basically store in a suitcase. That's perfect for this time of the year with all the camping. Um, let's see what else we got. A Hampton Beach coffee maker. It's a single cup coffee maker. Someone asked me the other day why I would want to keep all the stuff. Well, I also want to earn an income, so <laughs> it's easy when it's worth something. Um, Bio Bid It A Series Simple and Easy Bid It. It's basically another one of those toilet adapters. It basically, it's a switch to flush, I think. All right. This is a uh, battery charger. Um, I actually am very, very um, accustomed to using one of these because I have a lawnmower that doesn't like to stay charged, the battery. And so you just basically hook this up to a battery, a car or a lawnmower or anything like that. And um, as long as it's been plugged in and it has a full charge, you can actually start your car. So this is a nice thing to actually have in your car, especially on vacation trips, things like that, so that you can jumpstart your vehicle if you end up with a dead battery, a light left on by the kids, or... Um, you left the keys in the car, the headlights on. Here's another one of those wrist blood pressure ones. I've sold multiples of those. Those sell really well. Um, let's see. Not sure what this is. This says, um, I think it's the same as what's in here. Yeah, it's one of those bread makers again. Because it's in the same size box. Uh, same thing. Looks like there's a lot of these. Pretty sure that's what they are, bread makers. There's another one. Here's another Hampton Beach, but it's a different kind of coffee maker. It's got a regular 12 cup. Yeah, 12 cup and then a regular single serve. So that's kind of neat. This one is a Hampton Beach food processor. This one, the box has been sliced open. It may be that this is the only thing that's wrong with the box because it looks like it's still packaged well. So it may be that just the box being in bad condition could be the only reason why it's in the salvaged pallet. Here's another bread box. All right, here's one of those expandable hoses, garden hoses. I know those were like 20 bucks last year. Um, here's, I sold a bunch of these, these stretch slip covers for couches. This is a wireless dual microphone, actual microphone. And it's a wireless one. Another Fitbit Charge 2. This looks like um, a Fitbit of some sort. It's got a bigger screen on it, so I'll have to look up that LP number again because there's nothing, no other signifying features on it, so I'll have to look up that LP number on the manifest to see what they have looked it up for. A lot of times they do the work for you, and they'll have the exact right name of exactly what it is when you have no clue. Here is a remote control car. Definitely been open, so we'll have to make sure. We might have to play with that and test it and see if it works. All right, we've got 
a ceramic deep waver for putting waves in your hair. I have natural waves, so I need to do that. All right, Skybell. Answer the door from your smartphone. Uh, you've probably been seeing a lot of these online. It's the, all, kind of the, the latest rage. So if you got a delivery guy coming and you're not home yet, you can they can ring the doorbell and you can actually um, answer and find out who it is from your smartphone. All right, looks like we got another one of those bread makers. We've got this is I think a, a jawbone uh, fit thing, an up to jawbone. The basically pedometer activity trackers, similar to the Fitbit. All right, we've got the original, oh, this is a toilet light-up bowl. So it's a light-up bowl. If you ever watch Shark Tank, I've seen these on there. So it basically illuminates your toilet bowl so that you don't have to turn the lights on at night. All right, then we've got Smart Band Health Tracker. This one says Vanity Company. Not sure what this is. It's a mirror. Yep, makeup mirror. And those, actually, surprisingly enough, especially the electric ones, are worth a lot of money. You can sell them for around 40 or 50 bucks. So that's really good. All right, I'm just going to climb in here and show you the rest of this stuff. All right, a steam mop for your floor. This is a shark vacuum. This is another coffee maker, another bread box. This is crammed in two boxes, so I have no idea. This is our mystery box. I'll probably share it with you another time. All right, another Fitbit charge. A couple more of the activity trackers. It's a mystery box as well. This is a bio bidget. I'm not sure what this is. Some, but the bio bidget thing, the last one I had was a, a toilet something. So I would imagine this is probably some sort of a toilet seat cover or one of those elevated uh, lifted lift ones. And then. A steamer. I think it's a, like a salon steamer. So let me see. I'll grab the knife and I'll see what's in those mystery boxes for you. Climb out of the box. Hard work doing this pallet unpacking. All right, let me come around this way for you. What's in here? Oh, I've gotten one of these before. It's a, uh, I think I had to sell it on eBay because I can't, it's a natural Himalayan salt lamp. That's why it weighed so much. And then, let's see what's in this one. This one's kind of interesting because I know it's not in the original box. It's two boxes crammed together. So we'll see what it is. All right. some sort so I'll have to look it up if you guys know what it is please let me know because um, I have no clue but I can look on the manifest and find the name and that's awesome so this is what I got in my palette it says 47 items but to me it seems like a few more but it may or may not be like I said uh, everything is about 10 to 11 dollars a piece uh, a lot of this I know I'll for sure have to sell on eBay because I've tried to sell them 
on on Amazon before, and I can't list like all of the Fitbits and trackers I have to sell on eBay, and then the salt lamp. But a lot of this other stuff, I know it's going to be high dollar stuff because it's elect, um, small appliance electronics usually go for big money on Amazon. Um, I just have to make sure it's in good working condition and make sure I sell it under the right category as far as used, like new, brand new, all those things. So I hope this has been super interesting for you, and I'll try to let you know how we do. And remember, in the end, Jesus wins.